Hello again, Harrogate. Hello again, Hull and the Humber. And for the first time, hello, Bridlington. My name is Fiona Bruce. I'm just taking a short break from filming here at the BBC to pass on a personal message of support to you all during your Yorkshire International Business Convention. I think it's fantastic that your convention continues to get bigger and better. And I'm so pleased that you have again agreed to support the Victoria Clambier Charitable Trust as your nominated charity. It remains a very small charity with one very big ambition to build, open and help maintain a much needed state school in Victoria's name in her hometown of Abobo in the Ivory Coast. Abobo is a very deprived part of the Ivory Coast. There are no state schools in the area at present, which is why Victoria's parents let her travel to Europe in search of the education she couldn't get in the Ivory Coast. They still struggle to come to terms with the fact that their daughter was brutally murdered in the UK. But they've always remained passionate about one thing that a primary school would be built in Victoria's memory so that no other child will have to travel to Europe in search of an education. Put very simply, if the school you are helping to open in Abobo had been available for Victoria, she would still be alive today. The facts are that stark. Because of the amazing generosity and help over the last two years from the convention, and despite a number of setbacks, these early dreams have now become a fantastic reality. I'm so pleased to be able to tell you that thanks to your fantastic support, not only has the school been built, but it is bigger and better than anyone ever dreamed possible. Here's a short film from a recent trip made on behalf of the convention to check on the progress being made and to understand what still needs to be done to help. West Coast of Africa, but with English weather. You gave us some money, generous money, to help us build this school. Uh, last year, you donated lots of wonderful money to help us to employ teachers, and I'd like to introduce you now to the very first of those teachers, Simon. Yes, I am Simon, as she said, and uh, I've been teaching since 1982. Uh, I'm very glad that I've been uh, chosen by uh, Mrs. Gogwa Rachel uh, to be the first teacher in this school. And I'll, I'll be very glad because uh, the school uh, is going to start from primary school with, uh, with English. And uh, we know that English is uh, uh, the first language in the world and uh, it is a great opportunity for kids here in Côte d'Ivoire because uh, English is taught from uh, the secondary school, from the first year of the secondary school. Now, starting English with primary school it is going to be very, very good. And uh, I'm very, very glad to be one of the first teachers to teach in this school. This is Joseph, the site manager. Uh, he's going to stop on to make sure when the rainy season's finished, the central area is finished, and then he may stop on to look after the school of what we call a facilities manager, Mr. Carl Sorrell. Hi, this is Rochelle. She's in charge of the project manager, which means she's the real boss. She's produced here a school which has not only got 12 classrooms, but it's also got an ICT suite and a room where health care will be delivered to the inhabitants of the world, which is a pair of Ramblinger. It's unique and it's fantastic. It makes this the most unique school in this part of the world. Okay. Now I'd like to introduce you to a wonderful lady called Caroline Ingram who formed the Victoria Climbay Charitable Trust with the brainchild of building this school. Feelings today? <laughs> a happy lady. <laughs> wonderful to see a school pretty much finished thanks to collaboration with you guys. It's been good. We just need the computers now, don't we not? Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. please. So 
So this is the, the health facility in the school. Caroline, tell us what's going to be delivered from here. The nurse, school nurse will be here and she will ensure that the children who come to this school are well. All of the children within the school will be cared for here with your support. And, what's and now we're going on to show you the doctor's room so that there's a, a place where private consultations can take place between the doctor and the children and their families. Absolutely fantastic. One shop, one stop shop delivery of public services in a world of Africa. That's something. It can be done. actually the inspiration behind all this and this is Rochelle who has made it happen on the ground over here and I just want to present them with uh, for the head teacher's office uh, a plaque that cements the relationship and the friendship between Hull and Abobo and Victoria School. So thank you very much. Thank you. Isn't that fantastic to see? You must be so proud of what you've done. Victoria's mother is so happy and so grateful for your help and support. And I know she came to thank you all personally last year, which was a rather special moment for everyone involved. But, as you've just seen, the job's not yet finished. When the school formally opens in September this year, it will be able to welcome 360 local children. So, this year's challenge is to make sure that the school is fully equipped. So we need your help to fill that container and we need to make sure we have enough money to continue to pay for the best teachers around. By specialising in English and IT, this school is going to be very popular. Based on what you achieved over the last two years, I know you'll do everything you can to help. A list of the equipment needed is available on your table, so if you can help, please do. The charity remains very small, so I can again assure you that every pound you give today will go straight to the running of the new school. I think the Yorkshire and Humber business communities can do attitude towards helping fund futures in Africa is amazing. Please enjoy your convention, dig deep into your hearts and your pockets, because today you can again do something quite simple but quite brilliant, something that will change another part of the world forever. You can give a whole community the gift of education so that no child is left behind. Thank you very much. <laughs>